Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Zeke and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Today we're gonna to be going over my November dividends and I'm going to be doing a complete technical analysis over my four dividends that I got paid in the month of November. So let's get into the video. All right, YouTube, we're back. Um, if we take a look at my Robinhood account, I'm sitting at $12,476.98. In the month of November, I'm up $206.81. That's around 1.69%. I invest $200 every single week into my Robinhood account, and I usually buy dividend growth stocks or dividend or stocks that has to that pays out dividends. Um, I've been very interested in monthly dividends, but I do buy some growth stocks here and there every now and then. All right, so what you guys been waiting for, what four stocks paid me out in the month of November? I'm going to tell you which ones paid me out and then I'm gonna do a complete technical analysis over each stock that paid me out to see if you guys wanna get into it yourself. All right, the first one is AT&T. Uh, at the time, I owned 11 shares of it, and it pays out 51 cents per share. I got paid a total of $5.61. If we take a look at AT&T, over the last month, it's down 4%. Uh, I own a total of 18 shares now, so I will see a, a slight increased bump payment uh, the next time AT&T pays out their dividends. Uh, my total returns is I'm up $13.00 plus the dividends that they have been paying me over the last couple of months. Let's do a complete technical analysis of AT&T over on Think and Swim. All right. All right, YouTube, we're over on the Think and Swim platform. The first ticker symbol that I'm gonna show you is T, which is AT&T. Um, let's do the 180 day chart, 180 day, four hour chart. All right, so here we go. AT&T is, is, is clearly in the uptrend. If you want to draw the lows, I'll draw my low right there and then make another point for the highs. It is in a channel of an uptrend right there. If we take a look where AT&T is now on the RSI, it's not really overbought, it's not oversold. And over on the MACD, it is on the way up with the green bars. If we zoom in on the line of support on the uh, on the lows so it likes to bounce off the support It's bouncing right here bounce right there uh, it stayed above the 180 day simple moving average and right here it broke below the 180 day uh, simple moving average but it is still inside of the channel and is trying to respect the support right here by bouncing off of this line it had a bounce right here a bounce right there and if it comes right here and break through, then AT&T might be on a downtrend if it breaks out of this channel and stays going down this way. But if AT&T bounces off of this one more time and end up breaking above the 180 day simple moving average, it might be good, a very good time for another buy. But let's move out on a longer time frame than one hour I mean the one day, one year chart, and yes, um, it is still supporting the support line in this channel right here, and it is well above the one year simple moving average green line that I have drawn right here, and it's also showing another support level right here. All right, guys, if you if if I zoom in on this support level right here. It bounced off this line, bounce, 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 and it's still inside of the uptrend channel. So AT&T has a strong support of a price point around $36.84. So if if I set a, a limit buy at $36.84 at and it buys, I would believe that I'm getting a great deal for AT&T and I could ride it back up to the last high that it had on the year, which was $39.70. The low on the year for AT&T was actually $26.80. If you guys would have bought the low 
on AT&T so far in the last 365 days. Um, you could have had a, wow, let's see. Could have had a profit all the way up to the high. Well, let's go to where it is right now. You could been up, you could have been up 40% on AT&T this year alone. So AT&T has been killing it this year. Um, this, this dividend payments has also increased from uh, 86 cents the first quarter, 86 cents again, 89 cents. Oh no, that's not right. Um, they paid out a total of 51 cents per. That's that's their earnings is 94 cents per share. That's their earnings, 86, 86, 89, and 94. So they had a pretty good earnings right there. Their next earning is coming up on 129, 2020. So this is a uh, pretty much a very simple breakdown of AT&T. The line of support right here, and then another line of support on the uptrend channel showing us that that AT&T is somewhere around the support. So it should bounce back up if it stays true to its uptrend support line but this is at t all right the next one is agnc this one is just a monthly paying dividend stock i own at the time 66 shares paying me a total of 16 cents per share uh the total amount that i got paid is ten dollars and 56 cents if we take a look at agnc over the last month it's up 1.17 percent uh, I own a total equity of $1,173 and my total returns is I'm up $64.46, not counting the dividends that they have been paying me every single month since I bought this stock. This is AGNC, but let's do a, a complete technical analysis of AGNC over on Think and Swim. Okay, the next one I have is AGNC. Um, this the price point right now for AGNC is seventeen dollars and thirty two cents. The highest has been all year is eighteen dollars and no, the highest has been in the last hundred eighty days is eighteen dollars and twenty nine cents, and the low is fourteen fifty one. Um, right here shows a little bit of a line of resistance. It's having a very hard time breaking above seventeen dollars and sixty two cents right there. It, it it didn't break above right here came down tried to break above again right there didn't and then right now it's sitting right below that nine trying to stay around the price point between 17 all right the price is trying to stay above um 1720 and 1750 so it is around a, a line of resistance if it breaks above then i could see agnc going up for the long run but it is a, above the 180 day simple moving average. I like trading and buying when it's above, that means it's in the uptrend. Uh, let's draw a little chart right here where it touches all of these lines, right there and then another channel, Oof. right there, all right? And then, so we have a line of resistance right there in a small little channel, so. If it breaks up, it, 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 it's gonna make a decision very soon on whether it's gonna fall below this channel or break above this old resistance. So let's keep an eye on AGNC for the next couple of days and see how that performs. Over the last year, AGNC, a uh, high of $18.29 and the low is still $14.51. And once again, um, to reach its high is very, very up here. So let's say if it breaks above the, this resistance line of 1760, um, you can see it coming all the way back up to at least $18 in the next couple of weeks or so. Or if it falls below the 180, if it falls below the 365 day simple moving average, actually that's 180 day. If it falls below the 180 day simple moving average, then it could be time for a downtrend all the way to its last re, uh, support line, which will be around uh, $16.50. Right there it touches, and then right there it touches again. I see $16.50 as a line of support for agency, and I see $17.60 as a line of resistance for agency. So agency is gonna make a move very soon, and we have to keep an eye on it. 
Okay, the next one is ticker symbol O, Realty Income. I own a total of three shares. The amount per share I got paid was 22 cents per share for a total amount of 68 cents. If we take a look at O, over the last month, O is down a little bit, 6%. Um, my total return on O, I'm up $15.35, not including my dividends. Right now, the price of O is $76.63. But let's do a complete technical analysis of ticker symbol O, Realty Income, over on Think and Swim. All right, the next ticker symbol is O, all right? So O right now is at $76.63. Um, way down here, you can see a clear line of support down here. And O right now is staying true and using the 180 day simple moving average as a line of support. So it bounced off right here, went up, bounced off again, and it's kind of riding the 180 day simple moving average. Um, if we're looking at the RSI indicator, it's not overbought or oversold. In fact, it's a little bit over, it's not on the oversold part, it's right in between, but it's not super overbought. So if you guys wanted to get in on O, you possibly could for a great buying opportunity. Let's zoom out a little bit on the year chart to see if we could get a better play. Yeah, AGNC, I mean, tickle symbol O is just on the uptrend. It's still not overbought or oversold. And it's looking like it's almost ready for the MACD to cross. If this MACD crosses and starts to show some green bars, every time it shows green bars, the price uh, reacts and shoots up very fast. So um, once this MACD crosses and some green bars start appearing on the volume, um, I could see O stand true to around the $77 mark and could make a play all the way back up to $82.17. Uh, if it doesn't cross and it stays down low, then AG, then Tukasumba O could make a play all the way back down to the $160 can make a play all the way back down to the 365 day simple moving average green line that I have drawn right here, which will go down around 5%. But if it stays true and goes up to this last high, then it'll go up to 6.24%. So always have your your room for profit to, out, to outweigh your room for loss. So if you guys wanna get in for Tilka Simba O, Realty Income, you possibly can be getting in for a great price. And the last one I have is SPHD. This is also a monthly paying dividend stock. At the time, I owned 32 shares, getting me 15 cents per share for a total amount of $4.95. This is the PowerShare S&P 500 High Dividend Low Volatility ETF. If we take a look of it, over the last month, it's doing pretty good. It's up 1%. Um, my total return at SPHD, I'm up $36.66, not including the dividends that they pay me every single month. My total equity in the company is $1,377.60. It's uh, a pretty large portion of my portfolio, sitting at 11.23%. Uh, this is SPHD. The current price is $43.05. Let's do a complete technical analysis of, a, of, of SPHD over on Think and Swim. All right, so in the, in the last one is SPHD, the monthly paying dividend stock. Uh, right here is a line of resistance. Bam, right there, the last high was $43.56. It could be making a play up to $43.56 or back down to a than 180 day simple moving average. Right now is not really overbought or oversold and it's riding right there on the, the um, purple line of my MACD exponential. Ah. And it's riding right there, not making any red bars or green bars on my MACD setup. So um, SPHD has been pretty much moving sideways for the most part. If we zoom out to the one year, one day chart, it's been staying pretty much in this channel, moving up, moving down, moving up, moving down. So up, down, up, down, up, midway up. So um, 
If you're thinking long term, I'll wait until SPHD actually breaks above the $43.56 mark, uh, 56 cents mark, and stays true and above. If you guys want to get in um, and ride the wave up, but if you want to wait the long term, it could come all the way back down to $39.68, down to this old last level of support, and you could get in for a great deal at that price which is down seven around eight percent so you could wait for it to drop around eight percent and get it for a great price or you could wait for it to break above 43 dollars and 56 cents buy some buy some right there and ride the wave up it's not overbought or oversold on the rsi indicator and it's not really making too much movement on the macd setup but yes this is sphd over on the Thicker Swim platform. All right, guys, that's the four dividend payments I got in the month of November. Um, if I did the math correct, I got paid a total of $21.80. $21.80 in a month just from four stocks alone is not bad. Um, considering my portfolio size, it could be better, but I have a pretty safe portfolio. Um, so I expecting if, if I could grow my account again by 1.69% in another month, I want to get my uh, my account close or above thirteen thousand dollars before the end of this year, guys. Um, I use Robinhood to do all of my buying, trading, and selling, and this is how I buy all of my dividend stocks. It's completely free. If you want to sign up, there's a link down in the description that you can use. You click that link and sign up. You'll get a free stock, and I'll get a free stock, and it's a great boost to start. If you're a first time investor and just getting into investing, now you can start off with a free stock of your own. But other than that, hit the thumbs up button if you like this video, subscribe, and then go down to the comment section and let me know what, if you have your portfolio already, what paid you out in the month of November and how did it do? But other than that, this is Zeke bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.